Today, we're going to be installing the EchoSoft Reverse Osmosis System. Let's grab the box and get started on the installation. First, remove the Reverse Osmosis System from its packaging and take out the equipment. Next, shut off the water supply in your kitchen and the rest of your home. Leave the tap water running for the faucet you're about to install the system under for one minute and then shut it off. Now we're going to work on connecting your pipe to the filter. First, screw the feed water adapter into the cold water supply. Second, screw the feed valve into the feed water adapter. To help prevent water leaks, you can use a PTFE sealing tape. This connection fits the most common pipe size of a half inch. If your pipe is 3 8 inch, Use the adapters that come with the filter. Put the 3 8 inch adapter on both ends of the feed water adapter and then screw the adapter into the cold water supply. Unscrew the compression nut from the feed valve and put it on the red tube. Push the red tube on the end of the feed valve fitting and screw on the compression nut. Connect the free end of the red tube with the quick connect fitting on the right side of the housing filter. The next thing you want to do is to drill a 5 mm diameter hole in the kitchen sink drain pipe. Be sure to connect the drain saddle with the drain pipe from the kitchen sink. The rubber gasket with the sticky base is included in the package. Install the drain saddle on the drain pipe over the hole. Tighten the drain nuts on the drain saddle with a screw. Insert the black tube into the connection of the clamp. Connect the other end of the black tube with concentrate outlet of membrane housing. Put a few turns of PTFE tape on the thread on the tank outlet. Screw the tank valve on the tank outlet. Now to finish off, simply close the tank valve. Installation of the faucet. It is important to drill a 12.5 mm hole in a convenient location in the sink or the countertop for the installation of the faucet. Note that metal shavings can damage your unit. It is strongly advised to remove them carefully as soon as you drill the hole. If the mounting surface is ceramic or stone, you may need a special carbide drill. Mount the faucet of the sink or countertop as shown on the figure. The nut, lock washer, and plastic washer on the faucet shank must fix the faucet firmly on the surface. Take the black tube, put on the compression nut, the ferrule, and then the plastic insert inside in that order. Put the blue tube as deeply as possible into the bottom of the faucet shank, ensuring that the compression ring is in the joint. Screw on the compression nut in order to join the tube to the faucet. Installation of the double lever faucet is done similarly. Next, select the spot where you're going to install the filter and drill two holes. The distance between the holes in the wall must precisely correspond to that between the holes in the bracket. Allow for at least 100 mm gap between the bottom of the filter and the floor. Install screw anchors if necessary and screw in two screws inside. These screws are not included. The distance between the holes should be 272 mm. Insert cartridges into the first and second housings in the direction of water flow. Tighten all three sumps by hand. Unplug the tube that connects the third housing with the auto shutoff valve from the valve. Open the tap water and let about one and a half gallons of it flow through the first two pre-filter cartridges. This helps to wash off coal dust that may appear in cartridges during shipping. This is very important. The water will pour through the tube disconnected from auto shutoff valve. Prepare a vessel to collect it. Insert the cartridge into the third sump along the direction of the water flow and attach the sump back again. Let through at least 1 to 2 gallons of water to wash off the coal dust. Close the feed valve and connect the free end of the tube back to the auto shutoff valve. Install the membrane into the membrane housing. This step is very important. Cut the plastic bag to install the reverse osmosis membrane. Install the membrane without first unpacking it by pushing it into the housing directly from the bag. Avoid touching the membrane and only hold it covered with the bag. Leave the feed valve and the purified water faucet open for 30 minutes. Then open the tank valve. Close the faucet and carefully check all connections for leaks. After the water tank is filled, 
you will hear the water stop flowing. Drain all the water from the tank by opening the faucet. After the tank has been emptied, close the faucet so that the tank starts refilling. Depending on the pressure in your water mains, this may take one and a half to three hours. After the tank is filled for the second time, your purified water will be ready to use.